Hi guys. Hi guys. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video. I have been thinking about kind of going back to like July signs, but I've also not wanted to waste time going backwards. But I had gotten a sign today. So I was thinking of, um, there's a lot of signs that I had gotten from my higher self as masculine throughout July and then August and then today I was just confirmed to talk about it okay because I was thinking about doing this video when I got home and my boss had messaged me and sent me like the picture of the weather where our job is but it was at on the picture that he sent to me the time, the date was today, and then it was at 4.41 p.m., okay? All right, now let me tell you a little bit about my job and how the divine literally connects the dots for me. Like, I just have to ask, and it's given to me. And then they let me know, they let me know that this is handed through them. They really do. They make sure that I know that this is like where I'm supposed to be and exactly um, it was given to me. Like, don't take it for granted. This is handed to you. So I had got this job June 29th. Exactly. Um, that's the day I was hired. Pretty much on the spot. Um, and then I started July. Okay. Okay. When I first started, I guess I can't remember like everything, but here, here's some things. Okay. So my boss's number, I'm not going to tell you his number, but the last four digits of his number are the same exact four digits of the number that I used to dial when I was with, um, said twin. Okay. The exact four numbers are the exact. And it took me a month of dialing this number before I realized like, holy shit, like, oh my god, I've dialed these last four numbers before, like, a lot, so it took me a while to, like, make that connection, but I did. Also, my boss's name is Ali, not that I want to <coughs> say his name. Hold on. Sorry, okay, so that's what his name is, like, the boxer, and when I had first met my twin, this is what they called me. This was like my nickname that was given to me um, because they didn't want to say my name, like my real name. And so this was what they called me. So my nickname when I first met him is my boss's name. My boss's phone number that I dial every day, the last four are the same as that person. Um, and then there was other stupid things like just the way he, my boss, like, does these, like, hand gestures, and he's, like, psh, psh, psh. I don't know what he does, and then, like, he drinks Bud Light, <laughs> like, so that's just, like, a connection, I don't freaking know, he always wants a Bud Light, um, at the end of the day, which is fine, there was something else, there was something, something else, um, there was one time, there was a few times, like, in July where I would be, like, in my office and literally start crying. Not when anybody was there. And it's just me and my boss, so really, it's not, like, a lot of people I work with. I have my own little office, so even if I was crying, nobody would know. <laughs> like, that's fine. Um, and because of the energies of, like, I guess resistance that I was feeling... I remember one time that there was a song called Angel or Devil. Like, I would love you whether you were an angel or a devil. Um, that came on, and I've never heard this song before, but it came on at, like, 11.44. It was just a whole bunch of weird shit that kept happening in my job that kept saying, like, okay, you're twin, you're twin, you're twin. Okay, so I have to tell you guys this, and I didn't want to, oh, my gosh. I really didn't want to, like, say this per se, because uh, okay. Uh, 
the day of the solar eclipse, we, me and my boss, oh, here, let me tell you what I do. I'm like a secretary, personal assistant for um, a general contractor, okay? So that's what I do from 9 to 3, pretty much. And then I have the opportunity, which is, this is why I'm like, God, it's so good. Because, yeah, I can do that from 9 to 3. And I was so, I didn't want to go back to the 9 to 5 thing. I like to kind of come in and just be able to do my shit the way I want. And that's just pretty much how it goes. As long as I'm doing my job, yeah. You know, and I've learned so much um, within the last two months of shit that I've never, n never known. I don't know. That if I ever needed to get a different position, it would be so useful and so helpful. But I'm not really worried about that because I'm going to maintain this and then do my own shit on the side and then we'll be good. But I don't know if I'll ever let this go um, as I have the opportunity to build and be like, I don't know, just sitting the person, the only person I answer to is the owner. That's it. So I like my job. Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. I'm sorry. I really do like my job. Um, if anything were to happen with like my daughter at school, I'm very close. My boss is cool. I can go. Like anything happens, I'll never be given that guilt trip of, you know, I love my job. Just saying. Um, and then I can also get jobs. Okay. We do roofs. We do, we're general contractor. We do it all. Um, so I can also on the side, whenever I want to at any time, Mondays, I can go Tuesdays, I can go, I can go every day or I could go one day or I could go no days. It's up to me and how much money I want to make and how much footwork I want to do as far as bringing my own clients and my own jobs to him and then following through with that job. Okay. Which is a percentage of the contract rate. So this is no joke money. And as long as I can hustle and I have no fear of going to talk to people and I really don't because basically anybody who I'm approaching you already need me you already need me that's why I stopped at your house because I can clearly tell you need me and what I do I help the homeowner and I love what I do I love what I do I love taking the houses from looking like a hot mess to making them beautiful because yes the interior like our furniture and our inside we like that to be nice, but you always want your outside to be, look nice, too, because it just gives you that, like, this is my house. This is what I've worked for. This is what I pay for. Everybody likes to kind of pull up to something. I mean, I like to do that for the homeowners. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. What else? What else? So that's that's another thing. Like, divine, let me know. Of course, obviously, I'm not going to just walk into a job be able to make it was an opportunity given to me. I can pretty much make whatever the frick I want to make. Um, and I'm not really talking about chump change. That's why I'm like, I'm happy than I am happy than a mother. That's what I'm going to say. Um, and it's funny because I really never thought that I would work for a general contractor, but I have been kind of talking about getting into the construction thing as far as law, construction law. Like that was an avenue that I was thinking about taking because it's a good paying um, thing when I was doing like the paralegal avenue. Right now I'm happy where I'm at and I just want to build as far as my channel and the things I'm doing. So we're going to leave it here for now. But my um, twin does stuff like that. So it's really weird that I'm like in the, that the divine literally put me kind of in like the man trades pretty much every trade because we're, like I said, we're a general contractor. I can work with any trade, you know? So I am like, when I say I'm learning a lot, I'm learning a lot. And then I also know that it's such a benefit to me because to walk into any other um, general contractor's office or any construction company and say, you know, I was the go-to for the head guy at my company for this long and I got jobs. It's good reference. Um, and I don't have to work in like, um, what do you call that? What do you call it? Like, I like family owned businesses. Like that's, 
I've always liked that. When I was a server, I always went for like the family owned businesses, even though they can be kind of hard to work for sometimes, but you'll get away with more corporations than I have all these crazy rules. I don't like that. I like family owned corporations because a family owned person does not care how you do things as long as you're getting the job done. And I like to be able to do things the way I want to do them as long as I'm producing and you're getting what you need, then don't tell me how to do my job. You know, I'm that type of person. I'm Aquarius. I like to do what I do. And I like my boss knows that he clearly sees that. And he's like, go get it, whatever. So that's awesome. Um, as far as that. Do, do, do. I do want to get more into doing personal readings again. And then there's something that I have coming up. But I do have to kind of correlate it with somebody else. And I will further touch base on that. I want to go through a reading right now. Oh, so did I finish saying oh, this solar eclipse? Okay, so we were supposed to go to a certain area to go um, sell roofs or, you know, whatever. Get contracts or try to find work or whatever. And um, we went to a different area that was not on the roster. And that area was my twin's area. So, of course, I'm out there the day of the solar eclipse. And not that I seen him per se, but... Um, what else? What else? What else? I kind of want to go into that aggravation and frustration because I know like during July and August, I was going through a lot of, um, I wouldn't say necessarily 3D, but just like, I can't see, I have a certain vision of the person or the attributes that I need the person who sits next to me to have in order for me to um, aspire to everything that I can be and my potential of being is. But I, it's hard for me to see sometimes that that person is that has that. Like, I understand that they, like, from the 5D standpoint, this is what they're, like, doing, um, building, gathering these attributes. But it's like, if they don't have those, then they, I understand you're always supposed to have like this heart space for them, but I sometimes think that no matter how much of a heart space I have, it doesn't matter if you like come and show up if you're not ready to show out, so to say. Like, you can't just come and show up to suck me dry, or you can't just come and show up to like take my focal point off of what I'm doing for myself. Um, and then I, I have those like memories of that like and I know I was young and dumb I was I don't care I was young and stupidly like head over heels in love I was stupid very much so um to let somebody take so much of my energy and like give 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 and never get I was fucking an idiot um which most of us are and I guess I can use that twin shit as an excuse but I know that it is it's that is why because I it it's nuts I don't know I just I'm just easily forget people for real I mean I can easily forget somebody so I guess um and I never like they always say that about Aquarius that if an Aquarius is even like eating dinner with you just take it because they like have a hard time of um being affectionate and I in a sense do I guess not like a hard time with it. I'm just not overly affectionate. I don't know. I'm just not. Sometimes I'm in the mood to be affectionate. Other times I'm not. I don't know. I like to get work done. I have things on my mind. Like I have a million things on my mind to like 
always pay attention to the person that you're with is not um, always possible. And sometimes certain people, they need that. Like they need 100% attention all the time. And it takes your focal point off of you. And anytime you're allowing somebody to do that who you're not married to or even when you are married, they shouldn't do that to you. Like you should each focus on yourselves and then have a balance of coming together. You know, that's all I know. And I just know that it was like a lot. It was really exhausting. I just have these memories of fucking exhausting and like literally never doing anything for me and just like always being there. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's, I don't know. I think, um, you have to be really sure that they, I don't know if they're going to be coming back and like playing a game. I don't think too many of them will stand up unless they're ready to. I don't think that like the divine has that in mind. And I always try to remember that, like, this has nothing to do with them and their 3D physical. And I need to stop thinking like they're the ones in control too. Like they have this power to, to not you don't they don't you don't because I don't so you don't like that's just it you don't um at the end of the day what's meant to what is coming what is happening is coming and happening regardless of if we um step up or not the choice is if you do you know obviously you're going to be provided for but I don't like at the end of the day I don't think it's going to not be like I know my friend was saying he emailed to me today and like Sometimes you can want union, sometimes you don't want union, but the only times you don't want union is when you start getting that 3D shit, like, they were the most frustrating person, annoying person, did nothing for me person, gave me a headache type of person, like, geez louise, like, come on, and then you're like, but I love them, <laughs> and their higher self says they love me too, like, then you're like, fuck them and the higher self because they're, they didn't do shit. <laughs> But put me through shit, bully my motherfucking ass, call me names, whatever, you know? But that's where we gotta, like, always trust the divine and not even, like, reflect on them. Because they're not in control, we're not in control, we're not. So, I know my higher self gives me so many freaking... Oh, insane. Oh my gosh. And then the other day, what was it? Was it on Friday? Yeah, Friday. My boss came to work and I just had a laugh because this is how close. And I guess it's September 20th. This is how close it's getting. Like my boss is a goofball. Okay. Probably one of the best, best general contractors, best salesperson, best. I mean, he is a go-getter and he has, he, he says it. I have the gift of gab. You have the gift of gab. I'm like, no, I don't have the gift of gab. Like I don't, but yeah, I do. I do, um, but sometimes it can be hard. I don't like to talk unless I'm knowledgeable. This is what, so I had to learn before I would go out there and start talking about roofs. I'm not going to knock on your door and be like, I see you need a roof. Like one, how am I going to tell if they need a roof? I don't know what I'm talking about. Things that I have learned, like soffits, spacious, pipe jacks, chimney flashing kits. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's crazy. The things that I know. And I'm still learning every day. And so the divine has me learning so many things. So they put me in this, like, his field, my masculines, in a sense, in their field. With all these signs, like, with the same, I don't know. So I don't know what they're, like, doing with that. And I don't know. But it's, it's. It's not weird, and it's not a coincidence, and it's very loud and clear. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is where it, like, starts getting real. So, July, July 4th, okay, and I remember this day because I was out on the boat with my family. Um, I was out on the boat with my family, and I was in the back of the boat brushing my hair, and there was this one song that came on, um, putting her makeup and brushing her long blonde hair, okay? And as I was brushing my hair in the back, I knew to look at the time because, I knew that I was literally brushing my long blonde hair and I know my signs and so whatever. I looked at the time. No, I didn't look up that time. So I was whatever, having a good time. So I didn't feel like looking up anything. But when I was on my way home in the car, I was in the passenger seat. 
and we were driving down in the highway and there was this big black sign that said Jesus is real. And I mean, this sign was huge and it was in like on the highway in the grass. And I would say it was like six feet tall and pretty damn wide, like 10 feet wide. And it said, Jesus is real. Okay. And I was thought it was kind of weird. Not that there was a sign, but it was just weird where it was. Like, it wasn't like a billboard. It wasn't like a, it was like, like somebody from the church came and put that sign right in the middle of the highway. highway. It wasn't a street, like street, no, the highway where people are going, you know. Um, okay, so then right after that sign, like, I would say not, I wouldn't even say a whole mile. Okay, the next sign was 151st Street. So we were driving. There was a big sign that said, Jesus is real. It's all set in black, and the words were in white. It was a big ass sign. It's like, okay, obviously I noticed it. <laughs> the next sign that came up within the mile was 151st Street. Now, when I looked at the time, when I was brushing my hair, it was 151. Okay, so that's not a coincidence. Okay, that was on the 4th of July. Then it was after that where I realized about the end of the phone number and then um well I knew my boss's name but I really didn't connect it to like the boxer until he said that on the phone like he said that what's your name Ali like the boxer and then when he said that I was like oh my god my twin used to call me that um like the boxer you know so it was really weird it's really weird if I wasn't so aware of what I was going through I'd be freaking out but I already know, you know, I don't know all the signs that come. It's like so close and I get anxiety sometimes because I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready for like this person to really come in my vicinity and all these signs like make me feel like they're pretty near and I'm just like, I don't know. Sometimes it's a feminine. I'm like, I'm just kind of doing my own shit. I don't want to be bothered right now. I'm like, hold up for a second. Wait a minute. But I can't tell them what to do. So, hey. Um, and as long as everything's in our highest and best interest, then I'm going to go with it. Um, oh, so did I finish telling you about, did I say that? About how, um, my boss pulled up. No, I didn't say. So he pulls up Friday and he gets out of his truck and he's wearing like a cowboy hat that he bought down the freaking at a gas station for like five bucks. Okay. And he's just a goof bomb. He's just getting out of the truck, like, smiling and wearing this hat. And I'm like, what are you doing, weirdo? Like, where'd you get that? He's like, I put it at the gas station. <laughs> I went to the job, blah, blah, blah. And it's just because my twin, and it was like a straw. It was so weird. My twin had those, he used to wear those stupid fucking, it, it, it just, I don't know what he was doing with that hat on. And I just started laughing, like, okay. Like, can you please take that hat off? Like, do you need a Bud Light too? <laughs> like, right now, because you're retarded. But he did. Later on, he, like, took a picture and had a Bud Light and had his hat on. And he was out at the boat and posted it on Facebook. I was like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord Almighty. This is, like, a replica of this person, but just older. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's so, it's so weird sometimes that I just laugh. Sometimes I start laughing and he's like, what? So funny. I don't know. You're just a goofball. I mean, really, I'm laughing because it's I'm just creeped the fuck out that everything like I'm into a glow. Sometimes I get like, oh lord, this is really going on. It's really going down, guys. So I just want to give encouragement. Like, if you're really stressing out about that masculine piece stuff, like I've gotten so many that it's like it's we've always said it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Um. The signs that just keep coming are no joke. And so I had a friend message me today, and he kind of said that. I know that I said that already, but that sometimes he wants union, sometimes he doesn't. And I so I this is why I've always kind of really stuck um, close to the people that I resonate because that was something that I resonated with my entire journey. Like, yes, I am. I'm understanding this thing, this twin thing, and why, and I understand that spiritual sense and that's what's really kept me going um because if I would have understood it in the 3d I would have never never had any faith that I don't even know if I could do it let alone the person that is tied to me because I, I don't know but I don't question them I really don't I'm like okay if you think if you think 
that you got this under control and you think that you're going to change his ways and you think that he will submit to you, I trust you and all your dogs. But I'm going to leave this one up to you because my ass is tired and I need to work on myself and I cannot do both. And you're not expected to. We are not expected to anymore. For real. Nope. Done with that. So don't do that. Please continue to understand your power. Understand your power to manifest. The ordinances of heaven correlated with the universal laws. Put them into per to gear. I mean, have full faith in your abilities. Understand, I don't care what enemy says. If you have these signs constantly in our twin and really understand the biblical sense of it and just, you know, the, the end conclusion, we don't know exactly what and how, but we do know the overall end is to put the world just back to how it was meant to be. That's it. That's it. The second coming to put the world just back to where, to back into balance. Okay. And if you... Is as nice as I can put it, do not help combining that masculine feminine to get into that balance. And you do not learn from their ways. I don't know. I don't know what happens, but it's going to come to a point where it's not going to be welcome. This world will be in perfect harmony again. I mean, not that I remember when it once was, but it once was. <laughs> it once was. There was once a time this world was in perfect harmony. This, the, God has order. We are the chaos, okay? Um, we are learning how to rid of all that chaotic nonsense through our journey. I think you're... you're Learning your internal is your external. Like that's all that matters is your eternal. Um, when your internal is good, your external is good. And I mean, I swear my life is just that. And my like that is my message. And at the end of the day, when I look at it, I can tell you when my I was going through my dark night of soul, all that stuff, every time my life was bad, it was because I was externally going through it or I was young and just externally going through it um or internally going through it so my external was just sucked it really did because when I was internally good and strong I was good when I wasn't everything was bad you know so that is a reflection your internal reflects your external I truly truly believe that that's truly preached in the bible it's truly taught within the twain flames community and it's just pretty much common fucking sense I'm sorry, but it is. Um, that shouldn't, I feel like people don't get that. Like, if you feel bad about yourself and you just think you're worthless and then you look at the person next to you and you wonder why they treat you like you're worthless, because you act like it, because you allow yourself, like, sooner or later, you just got to stop. You just got to stop um, and understand that you're in full control of fixing yourself internally through the spirit. And then once that happens, you can make moves. But until you are internally have that strength and that bond and that faith and that um, knowing and, you know, that unconditional love and support that you know you have through God, source, your divine team, Jesus, whatever you choose to say, just the Holy Spirit overall, then that's when you are abundantly provided for. I mean... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was going to do a reading I was going to do a reading but I'm going to stop it here I'm going to stop it here for now and we'll get down to the reading maybe later tonight maybe I don't know um, if I'll have time but much love guys stay strong in your faith and your knowing and your signs do what the divine is guiding you to do if I didn't know how to see the signs of um, what they were showing me, I just see them everywhere. 
I mean, I guess it used to be really hard for me to see them, and now I just see them everywhere. <clears throat> and it's kind of, it's, it's not even overwhelming. It's just amazing. Like, they, you can't even doubt, really. Like, we try to doubt, but at this point, they're, like, throwing it. Like, you can't even do it. Like, even when you want to, it's like a slap in the face. Like, bam, 441. Here you go. Like, make the, make the um, video and do it. We're done telling you. <laughs> like, this is not playing they correct very quickly so you guys all I can say is um seriously trust them talk throw up what you want um, if you're having a hard time right now is not the time if you're having a hard time it might be because you're resisting things resisting change new change is coming to the divine feminine a lot of us are releasing our old things that we've been saying we were going to release, but yet haven't. Um, there, so if you know, and I mean, be real with yourself. If you know there's things that you know you said you were going to work on, kind of push back, kind of push back, bring that stuff up and start getting um, going on it. If there's things you need to end as far as some relationships or whatever it is. And it's been sitting on you and you know it and you know the divine is telling you, but there's something that in you that's making you not make that move. Ask them to help you and ask them to provide a way for you to get out of whatever you're in. Um, so that you're okay, you're provided for, you're taken care of and understand and trust that they will. Um, but always be doing your part. Okay. We cannot just sit down and say, please provide me with a job. No. We can say, provide me with a job, and then we can put in 50 resumes and wait. And then tomorrow we can say, provide me with a job, we can put in 50 resumes and wait. You know, nowadays, to find a job, most people just go online and say, you don't even have to leave your house anymore. You don't even have to leave your house anymore. And if you don't want to find a job, and that's not what you're doing, but you want to build in your business and, you know, Provide me with the time and the patience to do it. Provide me with the funds to get through it. Or provide me with the job that will provide so I can invest in myself on the side or whatever. Whatever you have to do. Um, ask and you shall receive. And I will continue to say that. Ask and you shall receive. Because I have asked and I have received. Um, when I started this journey... I was going to school full time. I just didn't even know how I did it all. I don't know how I did it all. If you go down to the, the beginning of my channel, you will always hear me talking about how much homework I have. I was doing case brief after case brief, research paper after research paper. It was insane prepping for mock trials. I was doing, and it was, I was a full time student. Sometimes I worked too. And then I was a mom and had my house and had a cook, had a clean, had my dog, have everything, laundry, everything, okay? And I do all of that. Um, so it was a lot. It was a lot. And then I did my channel on top of it and all the information that was coming to me on top of everything else I was doing. And I still maintain, but I did ask and I did pray. Um, that's all. That's what I know. I just know the power of prayer. And yes, manifesting and it, to me, it's the same thing. To me, manifesting and power and prayer or praying is pretty much the same thing to me. Um, me praying is me sharing my thoughts and ideas with God, okay, with source, with the universe. Um, and it's the same thing as manifesting, is it or is it not? So it's pretty much the same. But I, I mean, I'm still a traditional prayer. I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, this is what I do. Um. And that's pretty much my meditation as far as that goes. But, um, all right, guys. Much love. Much love. I think there was one more thing I wanted to hit on. We'll just leave it alone. We'll just leave it alone because it will take me another 15 minutes, okay? All right, guys.